Many companies, including Google, are working on ways to extend our lives by tens if not hundreds of years, but Hume wants to turn this idea on its head. Rather than making us live longer, the Los Angeles firm wants to bring people back from the dead using artificial intelligence. Details about the technology are scarce, and it's not entirely clear whether it is a hoax or not, but the plans would involve freezing a person's brain before fitting it with a personality chip. Founder Josh Bacanegra has assured his critics that he is serious about human resurrection and believes it could even be possible within the next 30 years. According to the Hume website, the company is an AI company with a mission to reinvent the afterlife. We want to bring you back to life after you die. It explained that it plans to use artificial intelligence and nanotechnology to store data of conversational styles, behavioral patterns, thought processes and information about how a person's body functions from the inside out. Hume vs Singularity Although Hume's idea of combining artificial intelligence with our bodies sounds similar to the concept of singularity, there is a distinction between the two. Technological singularity is the development of superintelligence brought about through the use of technology. Put more simply, it is the idea of uploading our minds to computers and replacing body parts with machines while we are alive to make us smarter and fitter. The first use of the term singularity to refer to technological minds was by mathematician John von Neumann in the mid-1950s. He said, ever accelerating progress of technology and changes in the mode of human life, which gives the appearance of approaching some essential singularity in the history of the race beyond which human affairs, as we know them, could not continue. The term was then used by science fiction writer Werner Wing who believes brain-computer interfaces are causes of the singularity. Is 120 years old the upper limit of human lifespan? Mr. Maris claims contradict those made recently at a gerontology conference by Professor Sir Colin Blakemore. Sir Blakemore, a neurobiologist and former chief executive of the British Medical Research Council, said there is a ceiling on how long humans can live, and how much the body can age. And he stated that that 120 years might be a real absolute limit to human lifespan. He added people living for longer than 120 years is so rarely exceeded that, even with medical and technological advances, it is unlikely this upper threshold will be raised. The comments were made at an event with a panel of gerontologists and scientists where they discussed the future of medicine, global health concerns and life expectancy. It agreed that medicines will have a limited effect on extending human life and it was more important to improve the health and quality of life for older people, rather than prolonging it. The panel also stated it was key to improve the life expectancy in poorer regions, or areas where people typically die much younger than other areas.